What's up y'all? We've got an exciting video today because it's a product that does a lot of things well from a travel bag to collapsing it down to a 20 liter daily carry bag, backpack, and shoulder strap. And they sent it to me in like my favorite multi-cam camo black. I don't know why I like that material so much. It's so bro-y. But let's get into the studio and check it out. First, set. All right, this is the Black Ember Forge, a very kind of over-engineered, burly construction, laser cut, amazing materials pack with kind of like a blacked out, you know, black on black aesthetic, even in this multi-cam black, it's like really kind of a murdered out vibe. Now this pack comes in at around 300 bucks, okay? 300 bucks is a lot for people sometimes. <laughs> But it's not a lot for other people sometimes, right? Especially as I get older, the more I'm like, listen, I don't care if it's like anything under $500, if I'm only gonna buy it one time and it's gonna last me like 10 to 30 years, I'm like, let's talk about it. Is it actually gonna improve my life? And this is actually the Forge Max, which means it comes with these accessories. Two handles, the handles are actually kind of nice and they have this nice little, uh, just simple clip to keep them together, just a button on that. And then these compression straps, four of them. One, two, three, four. I would probably only leave these ones down here on because there's no uh, zipper opening down here except for an expansion, which I'm gonna show you. And I would remove these because all my zippers come through here, all of them. And so the compression I would get out on. Now what's so unique about this damn thing is it is a three-way carry pack. I'd say it's even a four-way carry pack, right? You have a standard like soft brief Okay, this is for, you know, your businessy. You're getting to where you're going. You're like, <laughs> here I am, just being a big boy or girl. Then you have your shoulder bag for sort of casual carry. And it is casual, even though it's all like a heavy duty. It's very nice and casual to be like, hey, what's up? My name's Casual Jack. This is my uh, casual carry of this bag. Again, I am. 5'10", 187 pounds. And then there's a third way of carrying it. Are you ready for this? It's quite a good little transformation. But first, let me pull off this strap. The uh, shoulder strap clips is one of the only place you're gonna feel uh, plastic, kind of a cheapy vibe. They're using, I think this is Duraflex or something like it. And these plastic D-rings and clips are actually quite durable and strong. They just don't feel that great. You know, I'm sure Black Ember sort of like hemmed and haw over this because Everything else on the bag is super good. And they're like, listen, we gotta save the extra as, like this is the one place that we can actually save some money and it's still pretty durable, these plastic clips are. So that's the one thing you're gonna know. Literally everything else is like, this material's amazing. Like this back panel, there's like this mesh thing with these, you can see, can you see how my finger's going into that? Do you see that? There's like all these perforated holes and the foam there is nice. It's gotta be like a EVA, like a, a nice, oh, it's, it feels great. So you got a nice good channel here for the back panel of the backpack. Look at this. So the backpack straps hide away and they do it pretty well actually. This Velcro clip on the, or not clip, but you know, Velcro bits on either side help us to hide away the straps. So. It's not only a backpack strap conversion, but it's a backpack strap conversion you're gonna actually use because it's super quick in and out. So when you actually want to go to a chill mode or you know, you'd have to bring this around with you in the bag somewhere, more than likely you're just gonna go into briefcase mode by hiding those away. But these backpack straps are sick! I love straps. This is one of the things I'm learning as I design this travel bag with Pact. It's my first time designing a bag. I'll put a link in the description below at this time code to get on the list for notifications about that at Pact. But 
I love straps. All the straps that you ever find on bags, they can be completely customized. Tom Ben recently on their Cynic. One second. If you don't know about this nice little bag, I've got a great video out on this. The Tom Ben Synapse, which is the famous bag, like the internet's beloved daily carry bag. This doesn't look, this looks kind of busted up because it's been, it's been <laughs> I used the shit out of it. And it's durable as shit so it can take it. But let me just at least zip things up. The reason why I pulled this guy out is Tom Ben just recently made a new strap and it's sensational. They call it an edgeless strap because there's no seams on the edges, right? This is doing a similar thing. No seams on the edges. And this has a mesh that is like your kind of like a standard mesh. I think it'll be really nice and durable over time. Black Ember are materials wizards. But I show you that just to show that we can customize straps, man. It's crazy. Um, and these are very contoured. They have Velcro up top and you can adjust sort of the height of them a little bit, not a bunch of change. So, you know, this is sort of, with bags and backpacks, everybody's body is different. And sometimes it can be hard to find a backpack that works well for you. Shout out to my people who are still searching. But there is a fourth mode of carry here. Actually, we're still gonna be using the backpack straps, so it's not a mode of carry, but it's such a different functionality. Let me just pull these uh, compression straps off of both sides here. They're using all Fidlock stuff. Let me pull this clip off of my handles, and then you're gonna see a couple things. I'm gonna walk you through all the nooks and crannies, okay? You're gonna see a zipper right here, which is for our front sort of main compartment. And then you're gonna see this secret zipper right here. See how it, you can't really see it? And then you're gonna see this other AquaGuard sealed zip back here, which is for our back compartment where our laptop is. By the way, while we're at it, just the zipper on front, this whole front panel is your external access pocket. Show you that in a second. But what is this guy here? Well, you come onto this side where they have a long zipper pull. Hypalon, they love the Hypalon. And you can almost fit this just down and hide this away. This is the one thing that I want it to work a little bit better for because it doesn't quite stay hidden, but it's nice, you can hide it there. Why do you want it hidden? I'll tell you why. Because when we pull that out, that is our expansion all the way around the bag and guess what? Ba-boom! We got an extra 10 liters going from a 20 liter daily carry bag to a 30 liter sort of minimal travel bag. Are you kidding me? Let me open up this main compartment. Again, there's three parts of this bag. Four if you conclude the expansion, right? You have your zipper on the front all the way across. This whole thing's got internal organization. We're gonna get into that. Then you've got your sort of, what I'm calling the main compartment. Then you've got your laptop compartment in here on the back. Got your compression in between. So this is my main compartment zip, right? That's all the panels on this bag. Here's all of that storage space and it's nicely got a little uh, a little container here, right? So I can hide it away. I can, I, all my undies don't fall out when I'm going through, if I need to open up my bag or something like that. But pretty decent capacity. Don't believe me? Here's two of my favorite packing cubes, all right? Now, what this is, ba this, this is my Peak Designs packing cube, okay? This guy is, this is traveling. Minimal travel is this. All your clothes go in here. Then you have a pair of sandals, really small shoes, okay? And your dop kit, that's it. Everything else is your tech and your computer and your work and whatever you gotta take with you. Now that's a particular kind of travel. I like to do lifestyle travel. I like to work from the road, right? Peak Design packing cube is sick because I love the size. Okay, it's a perfect square like kind of size that ends up fitting great in a lot of different bags. There's, there's lots of packing cubes that are around this size, but I like this one because it's so lightweight with great materials and it's got the dirty clothes side. It's got two compartments that like it doesn't, you know, it just, anyways, it's a good dirty clothes side. And it does this compression thing where you've got expansion around here so you could pack it up and then expand it, crunch all that stuff down. Anyways, I bring this out because this is kind of my, my showing you what the size of each bag is. I'll put that at the bottom right here. Okay, perfect size for a little pair of shoes and your little dop kit, okay? I prefer the air dop kit. I'll link to that below, I'll link to this below as well. But if you needed to double up on it, and let's say you're just bringing a ton of clothes and you're just throwing your toothbrush in with your daily carry items, you can just kind of fit this Nomadic in there if you shove. 
okay? It's a little bit too big, but that's a good medium size packing cube. I'll link to all this stuff below. And that's me filled up. Now that's also me with plenty of gear, depending on who you are, for either two to three days or <laughs> for my minimal travel buddies for, you know, seven to infinity days if you're doing laundry. They've got a luggage pass through back here. So if you're doing a luggage roller, this is gonna be your daily carry and you can fit more stuff in it for your uh, for your carry-on use. You get there, you got your roller there, you, don't, you roller people know who you are. Then you get there, you pull your packing cubes out, you can collapse the bag and now you've got that briefcase, shoulder bag, or backpack. What? Another thing to call attention to on that is just the fact that we've got this nice clamshell opening, okay? This is cool, you get good visibility. I like backpacks that do this. Instead of you know punching in from the top, just shoving, right? Now, before I move on to the daily carry mode, let's talk really quickly about the comfort of this in transit when you're in uh, travel bag mode, right? You've got these great straps, but no hip straps, all right? So, it's 30 liters, so it's not too big. If you're just carrying clothes and stuff like that, you're, you're solid. If you're carrying camera gear and batteries and all sorts of shit, well, it, your mileage may vary, but here's the deal. I really like these straps. They feel very comfortable. They kind of have a very intense contour, right? So some bodies may not like that, okay? So here's the bag on me, fully expanded travel bag mode. Can you see it? I got a new lens, so I don't know how out of focus I am because this thing is filming right now at an aperture of 0.95. I'll put a link to that in the description below too. But my thing on this is it's very comfortable. I just, the idea of getting away, just me going somewhere <laughs> to see a buddy in like New York or fucking Alabama, I don't care, just to get out of your daily life and to get on the road. And then when you get there, have an actual like fucking cool bag. Like, oh, let me tell you about uh, what this thing is like to actually access when you're on the go, when you're doing your daily life and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just converting it back to daily carry mode and I'm gonna take off these top uh, compression straps just to show you that it's actually quite easy to do so. The reason why is because they have all these little like laser etched <laughs> hypalon something, so, I mean it's so techy, mecked out, it's, it's incredible. And then you just have a nice little T-bar that goes in through there and then uh, it holds its, holds its place. Thanks, Black Ember. And while we're in, just like, what does it look like on? How's the size? Here is it in daily carry mode, or here it is rather. All right, 5'10", 190 pounds. Does it make sense? Can you see it? So now in access, transit, access on this thing. Everything you want to be getting to while you're in transit is here on the front of the bag, okay? It's actually got some dimension built into this pocket. So there's a, a way for you to like have stuff in the pocket loosely. There's also, can you see this? Some organization inside pens and like long sticky thing. If you got sticks, you wanna collect sticks, this is where your sticks are gonna go. This guy right here, perfect size for a phone potentially. So this is like kind of wanting to be your quick access, okay? Where's my phone? Oh, you open it up and you gotta get in here like that. It doesn't need to be your phone. It does have a little Velcro bit on the top though. So whatever you put in there, there's a chance it might be able to stay there. There's also a key clip with another Fidlock magnet on there. Fidlocks are sick, man, they're really fun. How do they work? Magnets are a mystery. What is the human existence? It's a mystery, we don't know how it works. Gravity, define it, define it. We just know that it works. We just know that it's there. All of our equations fall apart when we take, but they come, like we can use it in all of our equations to help others, but we still don't know why it works, man. Matthew McConaughey, space farmer. I'm just saying words. Then you have these three mesh undie top pocket. Undie top because it's got elastic on the top. Now, Black Ember are using good mesh here. It feels pretty, like it doesn't feel super um, like futuristic the way that Bellroy or Evergoods stuff can feel like, but it, it still feels like it's got a good four-way stretch to it. It's definitely got some, uh, it's definitely got some satisfaction on the tactile side, just the mesh itself. This is a Velomaki pouch, or Velomakachi, Velomachki, I don't know. All I know is I saw Keanu Reeves wearing one of their bags and uh, and I, I've liked talking to these guys a lot and I, I now I'm just thinking about Keanu Reeves. I just, what's up with Keanu Reeves? He's okay, I think he's okay, right? Like we don't need to be worried about, I like that guy, man. I keep, I think I like him more and more over time. But what's great about this pouch is it's very simple, okay? Yet it has organization. So 
like MacBook charger, bunch of cables. You see how I've got stuff shoved back here. There's also elastic right here, elastic. Same thing on both sides. And then just some simple dimension, about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of dimension. And then the outside of it actually has built in some padding. Highly recommend this pouch to have. I'm not crazy about the the, the logo and the, but it's they're a motorcycle company, right? Here's the thing fits great right inside of there because we have that dimension. So that is typically how I roll because I'm constantly changing out bags. So I normally go for a pouch model and all I need is something like that. Why? Because my Bluetooth headphones go inside here. Everything that I need goes inside here and then it's ready to go. Then I can use the built-in storage in here for the stuff that I need, but I don't want, I, don't, I like, I just want it out of the way, okay? Then everything I need when I get to the cafe, when I get to the office, whatever is just right here, I got everything I need. Isn't that sick? Some of you haven't been doing pouches yet and you're like, oh no, I gotta think about pouches, yes, okay? Yeah, you gotta find a bag and then you gotta find your pouches, the ones that work the way that you do. And that's like, it just let it take time. But the cool thing is, is it enables any old bag to work really, really, really well when you've got great pouches. Now, of course, this is not any old bag. Let's move on with the show. So let's get into that main compartment. We're opening up that front zipper, not the front panel, but the front, the forward one, because there's that one, then there's the expansion, then there's the laptop pocket in the back, which I'll show you in a sec. So this was where we had our clothing before. I'll open that up after I show you this. Here, there's a little organizer, throw some shit in there. I don't know what you want to put in there, but this is a, maybe a great spot for a, um, a button up shirt. Can fit in there and it's nice and like slightly compressed and it won't get pushed down maybe as hard or frumped down into the bottom of the bag and then crumpled on or whatever. It might be a good way to do that. Then inside here, you can see that's our main compartment that expands. You can see this little bit of fabric. It goes all the way around the outside and it's not too much in the way. Daily carry wise, this is kind of where my like, uh, my water bottle, man. <laughs> My business papers, man. All sorts of stuff like that might end up going. So this thing, I wish I had actually a crumple it up, fold it away, kind of like strap that was built in for it. Not that it really needs it because you can just do that. And now you're into just having a large internal compartment that you're using for daily carry, 20 liters. This is, I'd say like 12 liters or something like that, maybe 15, because there's other liters in other pockets on this bag. All right, my brain's farting. Time for more of my morning elixir. You guys liked that last video, huh? A little bit of, a little bit of B-roll. <laughs> hey, thanks for all your kind comments. On this side, now, speaking of business papers, man, this is a padded pocket, perfect size for some, uh, you know, business papers, man, okay? Or a tablet or a laptop or something like that might fit over there. Then, these guys, all right, this is a good solid amount of organization up against this panel, keeping it out of here, okay? We have down on either side, but there's not mesh on the back here. There's like that same, same sort of ripstop nylon that they're lining the thing with. What we have here is zippers on both sides that get you into that mesh pocket. So you have a meshable tech, cords, crap like that, throw that in there. Then you can still put something back here and then you've got something back here. Thanks, Black Ember, that's quite nice. But wait, there's more. There's another zipper back here, which is behind this whole padded thing more like secret compartment all the way down. So this is wild because it goes all the way across the bag. Like what are you gonna use it for? You can see my hand behind this panel right here. What are you gonna use this for? What are you gonna do? This is like secret documents. This is some like Snowden shit back here. Very interesting, this organization, right? This isn't like a ripoff of something. This is totally fresh. This V down here, all of this stuff feels like, wow, they're doing their own thing. They're really thinking about, um, they're really solving for the human experience of carry as far as they're concerned. So I love products like that where you're getting sort of a thesis statement. It's not really like the market is ready for this. We just need to get the price down to $35 and sell it at Walmart. It's like a, what is carrying 
in modern life. Fascinating, actually. Okay, now let me show you this laptop compartment I've harked on a few times. Where's my zipper for that? There we go. Big ol' the Hypalon zip pulls. Okay, they're kind of nice, but there's quite a bit of drag on this bag. Cable drag, strap drag, um, floppiness. That's why I just jumped at the chance of taking off compression straps when I can, because they just dangle and they're in the way. I like these, I, I want to keep these there. There's an option to buy this bag at 305 right now without these, without the compression and without these. So it's just 300 bucks. Um, but then there's like, it's like 330 for with those and the four compression straps, which is like, might as well do it. But uh, I like these straps I, or these, these handles. These are simple. It's just webbing sewn around some kind of uh, foam maybe or, or something with just a little bit of texture in there. Um, but it feels nice. The webbing feels nice on the hand. You also got another handle up here, which is an accessory. And this is crazy because it's it's got this like almost neoprene kind of quality, right? Where you get a little bit of pinch there, but it feels really, really sturdy and firm. And everything's attached with these metal aluminum G hooks that are custom black Ember stuff. And they don't come off easily. Like meaning when you're just cruising around, they don't come off. But then when you need to get them off, let's do this to see. Yeah, they come off when you need to get them off. Very interesting design on this um, that, uh, that I think is pretty killer. Great work, Black Ember. Hypalon Zip Pulls, YKK uh, AquaGuard Zips. I'll tell you a little bit about the materials and more in a second here. And then you've got this panel. Big ol' burly, suspended. I burped when I said that. <laughs> and I'm just gonna power right through. Suspended laptop compartment. Lots of padding all the way around. Fidlock. This is my one sort of bummer on this because I tend not to use these and just throw them down in there. So I just zip the top and pull that sucker out. But might as well have that extra protection since the bag is like can fall off of a truck in India and probably, you know, the contents will survive. But nice fleece lining here for your laptop. Fit it in, yes. And then on this side, you've just got this like uh, another potential place for one of those shirts maybe. You see it has this, uh, it has this dimension right here built into it. Maybe about a three quarters of an inch, just, just shy of maybe an inch. And then that nice stretchy mesh and then a zipper guy. Kind of an interesting pocket. I don't know what I'd use on this. I think for me, this whole back panel gets left like this with my zippers somewhere accessible on one of these corners so I can just pop it open, get the mag lock open and get my, uh, you know, my laptop, just pull it out, bring it out. Just get it out, why? Because it's gotta get those damn emails done. Man, who likes to do emails? <laughs> Not me. Not me. So, on the go, it's mostly this front pocket that you're gonna be accessing things in and out of my preferred mode there. Let's just see how that zip, see how the panel, it does have that that um, dimension in there, so you might wanna, they have this nice little Hypalon zip pull right here on this side. So you can, you can on, on both sides, dude, that's so nice. See that, so you're just gonna get used to that, two-handing this guy. You're two-handing this guy. I'm missing one smaller external pocket here. I'm missing a little quick access of some kind. They're wanting me to get that all out of here, which is great, but I find that this is gonna be where all my sort of tech organization is. Why? Because when I get to the, cafe, when I get to some place where I'm working, I tell you what I don't want to do. I don't want, I'm still getting used to where the damn zippers are. Um, I don't want to have to zip this open like this and come in here and like then find the shit and unzip this and get into that secret. I, that's all my stuff for I don't need you or sorry, I do need you, but I don't want to see you. I don't want you in my way, but I need you. It's like those dongles and those like little snack bars and the, that's where all that shit's gonna go. It's gonna be perfect there. But on the go, it's just this front pocket, okay? So remember that. All right, let's move on. Before I even tell you the details about the material, can I just say what it feels like for a second, okay? Great feeling materials. I already mentioned the handle. I love this one and this, you know, I'm so glad they sent me this, this camouflage one because the other ones that they have, they make bags out of this like extremely robust, waterproofy, uh, it's all sealed. It's got a, it's got some sort of like a PU coating, some sort of coating on this thing, right? So it's great. You can just soak this down with water and it's solid. This is one of their other bags, um, which is actually 
pretty killer. I'll put a link to my review of this one below. I'm glad though that it, they have it in this uh, actual fabric. Okay, now it's actual fabric, but there's there's uh, there's like panels. Can you see how this? Can you see the way the light is like? This is a big old like it must be a hypalon or some sort of reinforced panel. Then the like the materials like like glued down on top of it or something. I don't know. What does it feel like? It feels great. What does this back panel feel like? I love it. I love it when I wear it too. You've got this killer channel. What do these straps feel like? Perfect. It's a little bit thin just in this, some areas, whereas this has this nice, uh, you know, this nice reinforcement right through here. I like a, I like a strap that feels nice and, you know, it doesn't, doesn't just crumble in my hand, right? That feels good. The uh, maglock, I was saying fidlock before. I think they're maglock. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe they're not. Maybe I don't know. But it's that thing where you poke on it and then it comes out in the sternum strap. That just feels good. It feels like you're locking into, you know, something that NASA made or something like that. The Hypalon zip pulls, they feel solid in your finger. The only bummer is they, they got a lot of dangle. They don't have a lot of, it's not loud though, which is nice. So you're gonna feel good with this bag. That's like the feeling of the material. It's just more important to me than what it's made out of half the time, right? Be, because like you can make it out of the best material in the world. And I'm just like, I don't like using it on a daily basis because it seems just like rubber. It seems like kind of getting in and out of this pocket is just, it's like a little flat and a little, no me gusta, right? This gets me way more excited. So let's talk about some of these details on the material. I'm just gonna go kind of quickly through this. Laser cut and bonded. What? What? Is this like, this? is this a Tesla bag? Is this, is this SpaceX? Is, it, is Elon Musk behind this? Laser cut and bonded. That's where you're seeing this, uh, this Hypalon type of stuff, this whatever this thing is behind these panels. That's I think where we're seeing that kind of thing. Waterproof, three layer, 800D, what do they call it? Micro hex performance textile, okay? It is, like I said, laser cut, bonded. Why? For this precise sort of like, it's a very precise bag. It feels very technical. It feels like a, you ever seen like an old, an old like a micrometer or whatever where you measure something really small and there's such like fine little lines on something. It feels precise and engineered. It's killer. YKK AquaGuard zips. Let me see. I think they look like they're about an eight maybe or a five. No, it's an eight. YKK AquaGuard zips. Eight, they feel they feel solid with the hypalon zip pulls. Then we have the anodized aluminum on the um, the accessory G hooks, and then, like I said, those plastic D rings. <laughs> Where are those things? It's like this whole fucking thing is is like you remember in Terminator Tex? Remember the guy who's always spit and chew, and he has this gun that's a backpack that's like <laughs> he clears this whole forest one time. It's this intense, amazing piece of metal that has this crazy arm that comes out. This bag feels like it's it's in that same caliber. And then there's these little plastic D-rings, <laughs> which is funny. Um, I didn't talk about this though. I actually like the size of this strap. I like the way that it looks when it's on and when you're in daily carry mode, uh, it's not very heavy. So I didn't, I didn't find that I needed something fatter or wider. I don't know, I like this. And there's the other piece of your plastic right there, okay? Okay, so that's everything on this bag. Do you have any questions? Ask them below. I think it's totally worthwhile. As uh, as I said, I'm really glad they sent it to me in this color. There's a few other options. Check those out. And they're in pre-order right now, so you can save some money. But in the, I think this bag's gonna be around for a long time. I think it's... Uh, Qué bueno. All right, I'm gonna go uh, do a couple, a couple more reps on the uh, on that mace thing. I love that mace that I just doing. You guys, listen, this your lower abdomen, okay? Your butt, your 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 hips, your like you know all this this whole area. We're constantly just grinding away on it. Sitting when we drive, sitting when we work, sitting when we perform YouTube videos, sitting when we when we sit. Like we're sitting. Why? Because it's it, it's nice. It's restful. That's great. But if you're not actively opening up those hips, doing some shit. I don't know. Anyways, I like that mace thing, and I do just very slow. Uh, isometric style body weight sort of exercises with it. I don't swing it around, I don't do anything like that. I'll do that and sometimes I'll do like slow, shouldery type of 
type of stuff. Oh, it's great. Anyways, I'm gonna head back out there. Get on the email list if you're not, because we're about to pass 75,000 subscribers, and that's when we're doing the big freaking giveaway. All right, my assistant's in India for two weeks, and then it's all go time on the, uh, which is funny because it's coming right at the end of the year here. So get on the email, so I'll link to that below so that you can be entered to win because we're gonna give away thousands of dollars worth of gear. Maybe I'll get Black Ember to get involved and give something away. That would be sick, Black Ember. You up, you up for it? Okay, links to everything below, including my favorite daily carry bags list, my travel bags, hybrid travel bags, as well as my Spotify playlists, which are cool for when you're just cruising. They're, they're playlists that are designed for like, let's go deep, let's think about our life, and also let's have some fun with our friends. This, the sneakers, low tops one, is for like hanging out with our friends, because some pumped up music, feels good. But then there's Half Moon, which is for getting a little weird in your life. Just for getting a little deep, a little dark. I have a little hello to move. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it for now. Be yourself, make good choices, and don't let the door hit you on your way out there to get in the world. <laughs> don't forget, we don't live in this internet. We live in the real world. Why? Where? Like you, you. At, <laughs> I was going to say, you don't shit on the internet. And then I was like, yeah, you, you, yeah, you actually probably do. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.